Oke. Okay. Yo. What is up mga kapotpot? Mr. Kalakalir and welcome to the vlog. Alright guys, so this afternoon, well, nakatutok tayo kay Felicia, pero this afternoon, I'm gonna give you a short, um, quick impression ride of uh, my new bike, si Elsa. And uh, andun siya. So, ito na yung niya. So, you've seen the video yung meeting Elsa. So, na kilala niya na siya by now. And uh, for this video, I'm gonna be driving around with Elsa. So, bigyan ko lang kayo ng quick impression habang umiikot tayo dito sa area lang natin. Okay? So, today is a Sunday. And uh, I'm shooting videos for, of course, yun nga, mga uploads natin. So, start up. Yan. Dig, 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 dig. Grabe. I love the classic sound of it. Vera. Old school to old school. Woohoo. So, it's a 2019 model. Pero, wala lang. Retro inspired. So, kumote outfit. Pero, dito lang naman kasi tayo within the area. Bibili lang akong lighter. There you go. Oh, ba? Diba? So, maganda may isa kay Kure or may isama ko kayo uh, sa i-drive the bike so that uh, you get to experience ano yung sinabi ko dun sa previous video ko na if you bought a classic uh, bike, you're buying a impractical machine na, I don't know, na nakaka-addict siya eh. So, vibration, mas matindi pa to sa Rusi Classic 250 ko, pero gustong gusto ko to eh. At right of the day, before I go to sleep, if I'll try to reminisce the moment that I'm driving it, uh, nakakamiss guys eh. Nakakamiss. Well, anyway, let's just head on out. Tama ba yung English ka, mga kapot-pot? Labas lang tayo. Lord God bless my trip. So, ayan. So, actually, nailayo ko na to. Nung Mother's Day, uh, dinala ko siya sa cementerio, pinasyalan ko yung nanay ko, and then pinakilala ko si Elsa. Hindi ko na binidyo dahil gusto ko exclusive muna yung first meeting nila sa aking nanay. Okay. So yung specs ng bike, uh, I was able to discuss it dun sa isang video natin, yung meeting Elsa. Ah... Uh, ito, uh, the bike uh, has a bobber seat already. Yung stock seats niya, pinalitan na. Nung dating mayari. And yun. Okay. Actually, may kinuha rin tayong helmet sa Infinity Moto Zone. Nung Saturday. Uh, it's a SMK Eldorado. So, pang terno ko sa bike na to. Eh, nag-DIY tayo nung kinagabihan. Pininturahan ko yung yellow accent niya na to black para all black lang siya. Okay, so para may pang terno tayo dito na full face na pwede pang uh, uh, POV camera. Ang gamit ko ngayon yung helmet is yung LS2 Rapid eh. So, medyo hindi siya, no? <laughs> hindi siya matchy-matchy. Okay. So, rear brakes is, uh, what do you call this? It's a, uh, drum brake. Then the front brakes are disc brakes. Okay. So, ayan. Labas lang tayo. So, the bike is, uh, again, this is a Royal Enfield Classic 500-ish. I don't know if you can hear the exhaust, pero dun sa unang video ko, pinarinig ko sa inyo yung soundcheck ng wild boar exhaust. Now, um, the SRP for this one is 1, 300, 329, or 312, I'm not sure. Yung stealth block nila is 329, and yung chrome. And the standard one is... Uh, yung mga squadron blue I believe it's 312 so handling the handling the bike is uh, surprisingly very comfortable siya the bike is very comfortable even though yung vibe gain yun yung binibili nyo sa bike na to 
Vibration sa foot peg. Vibration sa handlebar. Sa tanke and everything. Pero very old school eh. Very old school yung ano niya. So, nandito tayo sa harapan namin sa Fort Digas Road or for, formerly um, Emerald Avenue. So, like what I said, yung handling niya, uh, sobrang nimble. Mabigat siya kung sa mabigat, pero for a guy like me, I'm only 5'7", ang dali niya itukod-tukod eh. Okay, I'm still using the stock tires, pero sabi ko nga dun sa napanood niya noong Monday, I'm gonna be replacing the tires with a uh, Pirelli MT60 that most of the uh, classic riders or the classic owners are uh, using those tires and uh, hindi na pala para ng labanan natin dito so I'm just keeping the original size uh, 1990 for the front, yung likod lang medyo mag-upsize tayo ng konti sa likod I'm gonna be installing a 120 by 90 by 18 Okay, so yun, the bike is not built for uh, speed runs or wrong top speed an. <laughs> okay, so medyo nagana na tayo ng kwati dun. Medyo we're trying to shy, sh sh we're trying to shy away from that uh, routine yung uh, top speed, top speed. So dun na tayo sa regular uh, setup of the bike. So, you just have to enjoy your journey uh, together with the bike. And I believe may MACQ na tayo dito, pero lang kapon, grabe, ang dami din naglabasan. And I did not bother na, na lumabas dahil wala naman ako schedule ng trabaho kapon. Okay, yung vibration niya guys, again, it's a tolerable vibration. And um, honestly, uh, from my personal point of view, it's a very addicting vibration. At the end of the day, after your ride, you're gonna be looking and you're gonna be missing that vibration. Okay, diba? So, handling, di tayo marunong lumiko, pero with this one, okay, diba? Macho! Okay. Madalas lang yung stock tires guys ha, don't lean on it masyado Oh yeah So most of the uh, components of the bike are stock except for the seats uh, Gaya nga nung nakita nyo sa unang video, if hindi nyo pa napanood yun, damaratso kayo dito uh, Balikan nyo lang po yun para makita nyo yung mga uh, upgrades na ginawa na natin dito or ginawa ng previous owner sa bike na ito okay and uh wala lang I love this bike <laughs> supposedly ito yung kapalit dapat ni Tomas pero hindi ko pa nabibendo si Tomas and uh by the way if you guys are interested my cafe 400 is for sale you know the history you know the story of that bike so just send me a message sa aking Mr. Kalakal na fan page. And uh, guys, please naman. Whoa! <laughs> and uh, soon, once na medyo mag-normalize uh, or mag-neutralize ng konti ang mga bagay-bagay sa atin dito, uh, I'm, gonna bring in, I'm gonna bring this bike sa Expressway together with a fellow RE enthusiast and then I'm gonna give you another highway impression of Elsa okay so one down four up though may nabibiling accessory nito para kung ayaw nyo nadudumihan yung sapatos pwede yun para pang TMX and um once nag-open ang showroom, uh, papakapit din tayo nun. Para pwede tayo mag-white shoes, di ba? Para riding in style. Pure.
Sir Jericho. <laughs> I got the bike dahil may nakita akong picture na kaparehas nung kaparehas na kay Jericho. So, I'm a big fan of that guy sa kanyang mga philosophy and sa kanyang mga bike collection. I cannot uh, afford lang sa ngayon yung ibang bike lineups niya pero yan, isang ikot pa tayo I like it so available siya sa showroom guys by the way um, pwede kayo mag test drive or test ride ng mga Royal Enfield bikes sa uh, showroom in Makati so search nyo na lang sa Facebook yung uh, what you call this yung uh, Royal Enfield uh, Makati branch nila they also have in Danghari, Cavite And I believe they also have one in Cebu. Okay, so gamitin lang natin yung search tab sa Facebook. Then uh, makikita nyo rin yun. Okay? So feel free to test drive their units. Ano yung mga bikes na available sa Royal Enfield ngayon? Of course, yung Classic, yung uh, Himalayan, and uh, Twins, yung GT and the interceptor okay, ikot pa tayo ulit see, guys, hindi ako marunong lumiko and sobrang na-enjoy ko to <laughs> sobrang na-enjoy ko to ayan na uh. and uh etong bike na to guys hindi ka magdadrive ng mabilis eh but daw minsan gusto nyo pakinggan yung roar yung thumping sound nya pero, I don't know, I prefer driving this bike ng mabagal. Uh, Siyempre, <laughs> I love the attention. People are looking at it. Uh, they're curious of the bike. Diba? Na, kahit ako eh, makakita ko nito sa kalsada, tuwan-tuwa ako. Kasi imagine ninyo, parang it's bringing back a piece of, okay? it's bringing back a piece of history sa kalsada. And yun din yung isa sa purpose ko or sa reason ko kung bakit ako bumili nito is uh, uh, I, li I like to have a share with the heritage of the bike. I mean, iba eh. Iba. Uh, as much as possible, I'll try to keep the bike hanggat kaya ko. Hanggang kaya ko maintain. I'm gonna keep this hanggang sa kaya kong mapamana sa apo ko. Suspension guys, it's okay. Nakababer seat siya, so may shocks na siya, meron pang spring yung upuan ko. So, alam niyo yan, nakakompensate yung vibration niya. And again, this is an addicting vibration. Hahaha! <laughs> Wee! Parabuse. Ah, J-Mac na J-Mac yan. Idol ko din yan eh. So, sana manotice na ako ni, ni, ni Idol sa ano, fan sign request ko. <laughs> medyo ko lang hindi fan talaga ako ni J-Mac uh, isa siya sa mga influence ko together with Polarides so pinilit ko makaipon alam nyo yun makainvest uh, into such bikes like this kung papansin nyo bigla tayo nag, sh nag shift to RE bikes well ganun lang naman talaga eh. I'm not doing this to brag hindi ako nang iingit or para ipag mayabang yung uh, meron ako okay I'm trying to showcase ano yung pwedeng meron magkaroon tayo guys huwag nyo naman din na down yung mga tao na hindi naman porket naka afford ng uh, ng uh, uh, medyo or nakapag upgrade ng bike ay eh, mayabang na huwag ganun guys hindi nyo alam yung nag dinanas ng tao para maka afford or para maka uh, acquire ng ganitong bike. For me, this is uh, I'm already 36 and uh, I'm happy that I have a RE bike. So, di ba? Ang life expectancy ko 50, 60. So, at least, di ba? Yung uh, almost uh, nakalati ko na yung lifespan ko. I get to own an RE bike. So, and I'm so proud. So, thank you for uh, sa experience na to. And sana na-inspire ko rin kayo. Diba? Kasi minsan may nag-comment sa akin, yabang ko daw. What the? <laughs> Guys, kung alam nyo lang, kalakal ko hanggang madaling araw, nakakalakal ako. Naglilinis ako ng paninda ko. Nagbebenta ako online ng mga pyesa ng Corolla. 
Para may pambili tayo ng ganito. So, instead of yung crap mentality natin, let's just be happy for them. Naging dramatic eh, no? So, yun lang naman ang aking uh, happy experience. Or may share ko pa lang dito. Uh, pasok tayo ng Ortiga, sabi nyo. And uh, again, uh, I'm sharing this to you so that I'm, anyway, I'm hoping that I am inspiring you guys. Nakita nyo yung transition natin. Nagsimula tayo sa cheapest bike in the market right now. Saya ang saya ako nun sa 25,000 na bike ko nun, yung DTR. Di ba? So, yung DTR, kung hinahanap nyo, nasa probinsya, nasa Tarlac. Yung Rusi Classic 250 ko, again, I have limited parking space sa condo. And ayoko nang magkakaproblema ako. So, nilagay ko muna dun sa likod ng parking na utol ko. Okay. So, yun. So, ito yung Metro Manila bike ko. Then, minsan, dadaling ko rin ang expressway. Dahil, uh, so, bro, sabi ko nga, yung sarap gamitin ito. Wala lang. So, uh, yan lang guys, overall impression of the bike. This is a fun bike. This is an addicting bike. Literal. So, don't get intimidated uh, visiting their showroom. Uh, just go to their office in Makati. Look for Sir Oni. Very, uh, ano naman sila. Very, ano, ano bang English nun, yung open. Yung uh, very accommodating naman sila. They will answer all your queries and uh, at least, di ba? May experience din natin tong gantong mga bagay. Okay? So again, wala ako tayong pambili ng brand new. I got this bike ng second hand pero sobrang minahal nung mayari. And definitely, mamahalin ko rin to. Alright? So, yun lang muna siguro mga kapot-pot and I do hope mapanood nyo pa yung ibang mga videos ko yung different adventures ko uh, with the RE bikes sa lineup natin ngayon yung si Felicia, yung ating Royal Enfield Himalayan, and itong si Elsa itong uh, RE Classic 500-ish natin okay so I hope to see you in my next vlog mga kapot-pot and once again, this is your boy Mr. Kalakal Now signing off. Ciao. Good night, everyone. Ride safe and God bless. Palagi. Peace. Babush. Alright guys, medyo nabitin tayo na ikot. Isang ikot ba? Diba? <laughs> Puro naman lang may kusik kalakan. Uy, madalas. <laughs> happy moments Every day is a happy moment While I'm driving Elsa Actually, lahat mo nung bikes eh Napakaloko ko talaga Yun na mga kapot-pot, babay na talaga Good night